the benefit and actually the beauty of having a public failure, at least for me, it took away any fear of failure. Because you fast forward 10 years later and I'm stronger as a person, I've already failed publicly, I lived through it, it was horrible at the time, and all that did was just allow me to move forward at a very fast pace and create an amazing company. The Real Real is the world's largest marketplace for authenticated luxury resale. When I was growing up, both of my parents, mostly because they're artists, really loved beautiful things. And that didn't necessarily mean beautiful new things. So my mother would go to people's homes and if they had a nice rug, she'd say, when you're ready to sell it, I'll buy it from you. And my father and I would go to the junkyard to scavenger for beautiful pieces, which he would then refurbish and, and turn into something else. At the moment in time, when I shut the company down to return money to shareholders, I was thinking about my employees and making sure they had a pay package and future jobs. And also, my husband had asked me for a divorce that day. So there was a lot going on. And I would say six months later, it really hit me that this was really bad for my career. It didn't help that every major newspaper and every tech article was written not about the company and not about the Times but also about me personally, and um, pretty, pretty horrible things. I was called the dumbest person in Silicon Valley, and so it was, it was a hard time. After Pets, even though it had a lot of um, negative press, I didn't really realize how much of it would sort of stick to me um, and how my options may be limited after that until I met with a recruiter. And he said, basically, after he said, well, Pets.com was such a blow up, your career's over. And, you know, I wouldn't show you to any company, I wouldn't introduce you to any companies. But hearing that made me go, okay, well, what am I going to do about it? You know, and uh, clearly, I'm not going to be able to get my dream job from someone else, and I'm going to have to create my own. That's exactly how it, that hit me. Not like, oh, he's wrong or he's a jerk. It was like, okay, I'm taking this as valid. How, what does that mean for me? It means that I should start my own company because I'm, other people don't believe in me right now in the Valley, it's a small world, but I believe in myself, so that's my best option.